So I'm going to step on the floor. So what you're going to do here, I'm going to have you take this wire and put it in here. Okay. And you're going to feel the machine kind of grab a hold of it a little bit. Just keep pushing when that happens. What, what machine? Uh, the simulator. So, you'll so, feel so it. Is, is it the same feeling when you put it in real guy? Um, well, not the grabbing. Keep pushing until you, you're going to kind of feel it grab. But the rest yeah. of it, it, yes, we can we can fine tune that to make it feel. We work with doctors and they tell us, so it feels a little okay, bit. Okay, so it, it's there. Okay, so then stop. just keep pushing. Okay. okay. So now we should see it. There's your X-ray, so it's going to okay. come up here in a minute. So you're pressing the pedal. Uh, yep, I'm stepping on the pedal. So see, there's the wire. Okay. So keep pushing it. Okay. So usually at this point I use my hands, right? Not not the uh, handle of how you call it. This blue one. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. That's just a wire. You okay. Have to go so up I go with the wire. wire. Okay. So that's good. You can stop right there, and then I'm going to give you this called a catheter. It's a pink tail catheter, and we'll end up shooting some dye through there. Okay, so now I've put it, okay? It goes over the wire. It's hollow on the inside. It goes over the wire. But but how to navigate the wire? Just by with hands? Yep. So there is no any possibility to bend it? Yes, somehow? there is. And I'll, I'll give you a little tool here that allows you to kind of steer it. Okay. Okay, so okay. So I'm putting the catheter now. Okay. So keep going, and I'm going to then take this wire out. Okay. So you can see the, how it looks like a pig's tail there. And yep. I'm going to give us some contrast, so I'm just pushing a button. In real life, they would shoot through here, uh -huh. some dye. Okay. And so, let me take a picture that we can save. And actually, push that up just a little bit more. Okay. So we're looking at kidneys here, right? We're looking at what? Kidneys. Kidneys, yes, exactly. Okay, hang on, that's me. Good. Okay. So they already have a stent. On the right hand side, yes. the stent there, but they have narrowing in the other kidney. Here, let me stop that for you. Okay. Um, so we need to go into that other side, and we're going to fix. See, it's all lumpy and bumpy over there. Mm -hmm. We're going to put a stent in over there. Okay. okay. So this is where you're going to get to maneuver the wire here. So actually, let's take. Uh, we're going to put the wire back in there. <laughs> step on this. Okay, now we're going to take this out. We're still going to leave our wire out there. Okay. So whatever I choose here is what's going to show up on your screen. So I chose a catheter that's going to go into that kidney artery for us. So that's a new catheter. It is a new catheter. And they're all, they're specifically shaped um, to go into the renal artery or the kidney artery. Okay, so, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to take this out now, and you're going to kind of just pull that catheter back slowly, and we're going to watch for it to go into that artery. Good. Here it is. So there you go. Yep. So you're right in there. Okay. Most intriguing one, yeah, I guess. Yep. So we're going to put this little wire inside the catheter, and this is the wire, a representation of the wire that would be going through into that artery. And okay. So again, you won't see it until you feel the machine grab it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the ideology here that we go through the large ones just by hand without steering, right? And then when we need to go to the small arteries, we use this uh, yes. steering wire. Yep, so this is, this is a small um, wire that we can navigate um, hopefully wherever we want. And what I'm going to do here is put this little device on the end of it. And what that does is grab a hold of it. Because imagine the doctor has blood and saline and all that stuff on their hands plus gloves. It's kind of hard to grab this and steer it. So that grabs a hold of it. I'm going to move it up here actually. So keep pushing the wire until we see it kind of come out the end of that catheter. Okay, here. So I'm going to give this to you and clamp it on. And what that allows you to do is turn the wire. And you want to keep pushing it until it goes. And sometimes you're going to have to, if you feel resistance, back up the wire a little bit, turn it a little bit differently, and then um, advance it, try advancing it again. Uh -huh. I need more control station. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I understand why there are... Okay. 
It's very difficult to see it in 2D, huh? Eh? It is. And you know what? We can rotate the camera a little bit. Aha, you can do it. Yeah, 2D is challenging. Mm -hmm. Really challenging. There you go. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So I would advance a little bit further out there, get it kind of so it's going upwards um, a little bit further. Good. Very good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is we'll choose um, a balloon. So we want to play a stand right here? Yep. First we're going to try just to put a balloon in there to kind of open it up a little bit. I'm not sure if the stent, sometimes the stent doesn't go across until you use a, whoopsie, we got yeah, to take that off. Yeah. Have you done the actual procedures? No. Yeah. I've worked in the catheter, but I'm not the doctor, so I haven't got to do it. Okay, now I can see. So you see there's the end, the beginning and the end of the balloon there. And so, oh, I picked you kind of not long enough one, but you know what, I can just change it right here. I'm going to give you a longer one. So we want to make sure that we cover all that area. So we want to stand so, here? No, you want to stand, um, pull it back just a little bit, because look where the bumpiness starts. I would pull here, it back, okay. pull it back, pull it back a little bit more. Right about. Here it is. Yeah. Oh. So then, nope, that's good. So okay. then what I'm going to do is I would use this device. It hooks up to the balloon. It's filled with some contrast also and some saline. And what we do is push this up. And as I start to turn, you can see on the screen there that it's um, inflating okay. that balloon. Okay? Uh -huh. So the, the real balloon is there? I couldn't notice that. Right? Well, it, it, it wasn't it was. on the end of here, but it's in the okay. software. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because because I didn't see it. Yeah, okay. You're right that you didn't see it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So it looks a little better already. So we're going to pull this back. Keep, we want to keep the wire down there. Okay, we we'll remove this one. Yep. And just, let's just, we'll do it just until the machine let go a bit. Good. Then I'm going to change that. And this is going to become our stent. We'll use this for our stent. Wow. So you can stop right there. And so now let's we're going to use the same piece of equipment to be our virtual stent. Okay, so it's virtual. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Are you happy there? Yep. Okay. So the same thing applies here. It's the stents mounted on top of the balloon, so it's gonna. I'm gonna inflate this balloon. And then I'm gonna come down. You can see now there. Okay. But there's now a, that metal vasculature is in there holding that open. Uh huh. So now I just pull, yep. pull everything out mm -hmm. and that's it. Yep. Great. Yep. So this is a pretty simplistic simulation um, base. You know, we really do a lot more dynamic stuff with our with our medical device manufacturers, and, and it's very powerful for the physicians to get their hand on the device and be able to implant it in the in the simulated patient before they're ramming and jamming it in, you know, someone's family member. So.